Welcome to the newest episode of Les Factor, where lesbians of color discuss love, sex, and relationships from our perspective. So my name is Erin Mitchell, I'm your host, and to my right, I have my business partner, entrepreneur, Stacy. I have model entertainer, uh, Savannah. We have Saan, our model scholar this week. We have Kenya, a behavioral analysis analyst. Specialist. <laughs> Specialist. <laughs> and to my left, we have Aisha, barbershop owner, putter, clipper, yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. Everybody's extraordinary up here. So let's just jump right into it. So sex, just in the bedroom or in any room? Stacy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, kind of conventional, I guess more in the bedroom. Oh, or whatever. So why not? <laughs> Every room. <laughs> Every room. Yes. All right, watch out now, Sai. Not the bathroom. 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 Not even while you're driving, okay. Um, it's the car room. Every room outside. So, any room? Yeah, any room. Any room. Any room. Any room. Ah, any room. Evidently, I'm, I guess you're the only conventional person. I'm in any room. I dated a girl once and she was only doing the bedroom. And I was really bored. I didn't understand. She was like, it gets a little dirty if you do it other places. I'm like, what about the bathroom and the shower? You can wash it away. She was like, no. What about the couch? No. What about the kitchen? No. But I'm like, I can't date you anymore. No. <laughs> so, so when you guys be fooling around, then you would have to walk to the bedroom? <laughs> to the bedroom. Wow. Did she have expensive things? No, she did not. So then it doesn't count. It does not. I didn't understand. Yeah. I was just bored out of my mind. Like, like, couch or something? Like, I'm saying, like, if you had, like, an Italian imported leather couch, I would understand. No, I think it was, like, Ikea. <laughs> I didn't care. Not so much. Extra replaceable. <laughs> I was, like, bored. I'm like, oh, nothing. Anyway, moving on. So, what time window when moving in with a girlfriend is considered you hauling? Mm. Aisha? Um, anything under six months. Six months? Yeah. Kenya? Anything under three months. Under three months? Three months. This is why we're called the U-Haul Lesbian. Yeah. Three I three three want this kind of close. <laughs> so I, I would say until you're married. Oh, That's a lot to just have that aspect. Yes, that's a commitment okay. issue. Oh. Until you're married? <laughs> no, I mean like more so like a couple years because it's like, you know, you guys need to just establish. <laughs> so, Mon, hey, eight hey, months to cool. a year, because it seems like after you six months is when you really start to get to know somebody. After a year, it's like, who the fuck are you? So, you so have to really, so really so make sure that that's something like that. I think it's an LA thing. Hmm? It could be. Because yeah, in, I'm from New York. This nigga's from New York. Meet somebody from New York. In New York, you know who's crazy within five minutes. In LA, okay. you have to invest a couple months. Yeah. So it takes a couple months of yes. dating before you even know. That is who so you're really. Yeah. Shit, I've been in LA and New York. Hoes is just is crazy everywhere. Like, I don't get that. I'm sorry. I'm Brooklyn, sorry. crazy ho, is not the same. What? Los Feliz, crazy ho. It's not the same. <laughs> so a hippie ho as opposed to a what? Like, a educated? Educated? Really? No. Uh, all the Brooklyn no, people no. I knew are highly educated. Highly educated. But, uh, but what are we talking about? Okay. We're talking about moving in quickly. Moving in quickly. Okay, so if you're talking to a girl, uh, let's say from Brooklyn, yeah. and you're dating her for about three months, right. you already know that bitch is crazy. So if you decide to move in with her, it's because you already know you're you know crazy. You know they're crazy here too. Though. But no, uh, oh. you have to invest three to six months before you start to see true colors. That's because in the nah, beginning, it's all facade. Nah. Mm -hmm. We're talking about six months. little glimmers of the person's <laughs> personality. Summer months can get you fucked up. Anyway, Savannah. <laughs> Savannah, how long? That's six months. Six months to a year, for sure. Stacey? Um, I think I believe in, you know, people saying you really don't know someone until you live with them. You know, so to me, you really shouldn't put like a time stamp on it because you're not going to know them at any point, really, because people are just going to keep changing and they're just going to kind of hide it from you. You're so I don't know. I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with science answer. I think oh, when no. you get married or at least a couple of years. Oh, no. I did a girl for four years. We never been getting together because I'm just like, she in her space, I need my space. Yeah. And until. Wait, but who did you date? Okay, so that's the question. The question was, what space. considers a U-Haul lesbian? Anything under six months is a U-Haul lesbian. Oh, I forgot to question myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. We might have, that's, that's four what. Four years? That's what editing is about. She so was. what is considered a U-Haul lesbian? And, oh, shit, so. You two are the only ones who actually ask the question. Yeah. Look, look. All right. Okay. So let's get rolling. We're gonna go. Like, what time window when moving in with a girlfriend is considered you hauling? Under six months. Under three months. Under three months. Probably under a year. Under a year. Well, six months to a year. I 
can't say a few weeks. <laughs> and then we never left here. We found her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, if you've dated somebody under six months, I think it's you hauling. Yeah. I think yeah. anything else than that, I you hauled once. Okay. Heavy. And uh, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> I, I got to know her real quick. I want to say like day one, I was like, I need to move the fuck out. Yep. So that's it is what it is. Uh, one of our uh, top followers on Instagram, her name is at Miss Attitude Thirty Two, asked, "Is sharing really caring? Like, could you share someone you?" that you loved. So basically her situation is she has two girlfriends. The one that she really loves says she won't be with her unless she has another girlfriend and the other girlfriend she likes, but she only keeps her because her girlfriend wants her to have another girlfriend. How old is she? So do you think that you can really share someone that you love? Absolutely. Aisha? Absolutely. <laughs> well, maybe if you if you got into it at on a polyamorous level, like, and everybody is like on that level. But if I'm in love, and then later on it's like, let's share, I think that would be kind of awkward. I think if we're not talking, if we're talking about emotional and physical, we're not talking about like the threesome, she and we want to go to Miami. Both of them. Wait, wait, wait. Like a relationship. She's she in a relationship, relationship. Um, it's a polyamorous relationship. You know, she, she wants to only be in a relationship with the one with the one girl. Right. But the girl will only, will only be with her if she has another girlfriend. And honey, she doesn't love you. But she why, why is girl. the other girl only want to be? Why is the stipulation that she must have another girl though? So she doesn't get caught up, honey. It's all G. Bitches <laughs> get stitches. You cannot be with somebody else if you're with me. Fuck that. Bitches get stitches. I don't think so. You cannot have another girlfriend. If that girl wants to be with you only if you're with another girl, she does not. Like she wants to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She wants to sleep with split, you, yeah. but she wants somebody else to deal with all your crazy mm -hmm. drama. So I don't know what's going on with you, but honey, you better right. get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, all I know is karma's a bitch, because it's like you know, you're you're trying to say, hey, you can go ahead and mess with someone else. I want you to have somebody else, but you never know if the other person might be in love with the other person. Mm -hmm. It's like it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. No, I say one relationship and then. Sure. I say one freaky relationship. <laughs> Savannah? Just one person. If, if it's an agreement between the two of you guys, I mean like a little threesome thing right. every once in a while, that's different because it's just sex. But a relationship, that's too messy. That's too much. Mm -hmm. Love, you can't share your love. You can't dispense it all over the place like you that. You can't. It's just work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I already got um, I believe that you can actually be in love with more than one person at a time, but you know, a lot of your attention will most definitely be geared toward one person. And I, I was in a situation once before where there was a couple that was married, and you know, they each wanted to have their like side persons. And I, you know, was, you know, I guess. You know, <laughs> no, I, I decided not to. And for the, for the reason that it would just hook them up. And you know, sometime yeah. down the line, they split up. Oh, so yes. you're going to split so up. So she up. said, I'm going to split them up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this doesn't even sound real. She was like, check my page and my pictures. And I did. And I'm like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I, I just, I can't see myself loving someone and being like, but you have to have another girlfriend. Like, why would I do that to myself? So I even asked her, I'm like, does she have, like, is she married, attached to somebody? She said, no, she's only attached to her. So I want to say, you pretty much we follow the, the panel. Like, it doesn't make sense to us. So if it doesn't make sense to you, you have to go with what feels most comfortable for you. Yes. It sounds like you're good in bed, but you're not good as a girlfriend. Then she probably is going to off to somebody else so they can deal with your issues. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do need to let her go and find somebody that appreciates you for who you are. Come on, you want to Dominican Kenya has to be. Come on, Dominican Kenya. It's like on some pimp shit. It's like, it is. Oh, gee. You might as well make my money. Do you have any insecurities with being a homosexual? Why or why not? Huh? Meaning, like, some people feel like, oh, like, well, I'm out, but I'm going to be out to my family. Or I feel like some people feel uncomfortable when they're in certain situations. I don't know. Like, any insecurity? Are you just you and you're happy? I think that question is irrelevant. Yeah, I'm, it's empowering. Because it's like, uh, how boring is it to just, you know, be some straight bitch? Like, <laughs> oh, you know, my guys. I don't know what to do. Like, fuck that shit. No. Honey, as soon as I went to Chelsea in Manhattan, I saw what gay was. I had the 
flag driving out of my butt forever. So I've been fine. I do not feel any much pain for me. Yeah. I am so excited. Well, I'm well, I work at a straight club, and it's not like I just train for someone. If somebody comes up to me and hollers at me, I'm like, oh, I'm a lesbian. That's fine. But I'm not going to sit there and just be like, all lesbian out. You know, it's, I mean, what is What's all lesbian now? Like, <laughs> like, Do you have any insecurities with being homo? Why or why not? Uh oh, we lost the light. Does that matter? Oh, that's that's matter. Matter. That's that's Personally, I don't have any, any insecurities, but like anybody doesn't like to be judged. I have been out with my girlfriend before, and people give you the stares, especially when you're in certain places. So it does make you feel a certain type of way, but it's not, you don't feel bad about yourself at all. Maybe you're gay, you're gay. I think that's special. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just to me, the natural extra. Alternate universe. But I always think it's like it's fan. Yeah, they kind of like that. They're show. looking at us. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'll put on a show because <laughs> like, I'm like, if you want to stare, then I'm gonna give you something to stare about. <laughs> but but it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's a lot when it comes down to you know dressing as a boy and dressing as a girl because when you're a girl, you're right. automatically in the club. Yes. But if you're a boy, they'll look at you like, like on some hate type, mm -hmm. type of stuff. You know, sometimes it's not who you are; it's the people that are judging you in. The situation. So then, do you conform to the judgment? Um, no. Good. Stacy. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a hundred percent secure, but um, you know, I would say like to speak, you know, to other people who are experiencing, you know, the you know the whole like coming out and being in an environment where they're not accepted. You know, I agree with Savannah. You know, there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of judgment. You know, people are looking at you, wondering, you know who you are, what you are, and you know, for me, I'm not like exactly a femme, I'm not exactly a stud, I'm just kind of like, you know, who I am, you know, just kind of like in between, and you know, I oftentimes get the stare, and right. little kids yeah. would ask me, like a little five-year-old boy not too long ago asked me if I'm like a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. and you know, it just kind of like takes you, you know, it just kind of shocks you, yeah. like what do they know about it, and you know, how do they view this situation, and even my nephew sometimes, my little nephew, he asks me sometimes, and this little girl the other day, because all my nieces and nephews called me like Auntie Stacy. This little boy called me Uncle Stacy the other day, <laughs> and it, it was Jen cute. Jen and you know, and it kind of makes you feel like a little something because yeah, you know, of kids course. are truthful, right? Yes. I mean, yeah. So it makes you think, is this what everyone else might be thinking? Right, exactly. Right. Yeah. So you know, I'm comfortable, but I still do kind of feel it yeah. every once in a while. Judgment just does not yeah. make you feel good, no matter what it is. Yeah. White, black, judgment, gay. I don't know why anything. judgment makes me feel great because it makes you. Feel smaller than I am. Okay, like it's their own thing that they're. Yeah, doing. so it's right. like, oh, that's cute. Let me invite you. Right. I love it when people are completely ignorant. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. I don't think I have any insecurities with being homosexual. Just in general, I think it just has to do with my upbringing. Like there were always gay people around, so I think once you feel accepted by your family, then it's yeah. kind of like I don't really care about everybody right. else. For real. When I came out to my grandma, she's like, oh, I was waiting. You know, I came out to my mom, she's like, I've been waiting. I'm like, she had made an imaginary girlfriend up for me. I'm like, I'm not dating her. You know. <laughs> so I think once you're comfortable with yourself, and I always have been, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. I feel more judged, more insecurities with like gay people. Really? I get called gay all the time. People are always like, Aaron, you're so gay. Aaron, quit doing that gay shit. Aaron, why are you doing that gay shit? <laughs> yeah, this one all the time. <laughs> Nobody knows I was gay, and I was out. I didn't care. I was just me. Like, I just love being yeah. Yeah, no, you can be honest. Like, I'm about to be in clubs and you're a girl or whatnot. You know, I just find that I, I, I'll dress 
dis differently if I'm going to a straight club, but not differently as in I'd be like a girl. This means I'd just be more dressed up. Yeah. Like if I have on a collar, if I have on a, no, no, if I have on like a, I just make sure not to wear the same thing I'm wearing to a gay club. You know, <laughs> right. like I make sure to have on a button well, down. There's no dress code. There is no dress code. Yeah. Okay, you can't be the village girl. Let them know. So, <laughs> thank you for that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so speaking, we were talking about levels and being gay. So, what determines if someone is a stud or a fem? Like, I, I don't, I don't. Oh Lord. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, this is like the whole. Oh, 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 so it is what it is. Like, okay. Stacy, we're gonna start over here. Yeah. Um, I think from my experience, I would say it's basically um, about your attire, the way you look physically. Yes. So if you're wearing baggy pants, you know, baggy shirt, or maybe a button down or something, you're automatically labeled as a stud. You know, if you're, you know, super girly, tight pants, you know, showing your little boobies and <laughs> with the heels, you're automatically like a femme. And there's not very much in between that. So whatever's in between that, people don't really understand. Savannah? Right. Um, I do agree. They have to identify with something. So it's like, but um, usually I, it's definitely the attire because my personality, I'm more dominant anyway. So I usually am like the stud in the relationship, in the bedroom mm -hmm. or whatever. But so I can believe it. Yeah, everybody knows it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 Probably under a year. Under a year, well, six months to a year. I'd say a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our lesbian. We found her. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think uh, if you've dated somebody under six months, I think it's you, Holly. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. anything else than that, I you home once. Okay. Happy. <laughs> and uh, it was terrible. <laughs> I, I got to know her real quick. I want to say like day one, I was like, I need to move the fuck out. Yep. So that's it. Is what it is. Uh, one of our uh, top followers on Instagram, her name is at Miss Attitude Thirty Two, asked, "Is sharing really caring? Like, could you share someone you that you loved?" So basically, her situation is she has two girlfriends. The one that she really loves says she won't be with her unless she has another girlfriend, and the other mm -hmm. girlfriend she likes, but she only keeps her because her girlfriend wants her to have another girlfriend. How old is she? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, so do you think that you can really share someone that you love? Absolutely. Not. Aisha. <laughs> well, maybe if you got into it at, on a polyamorous level, like, and everybody is like on that level, but if I'm in love and then later on it's like, let's share, I think that would be kind of awkward, I think. If we're not talking, if we're talking about emotional and physical, we're not talking about like a threesome she and we want to go to Miami. Girl. Well, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Like a relationship. She's in sure. a relationship, relationship. Uh, it's a polyamorous relationship. No. She she wants to only be in a relationship with the one with the one girl. Right. Where the girl will only, will only be with her if she has another girlfriend. And honey, she uh, not be her. She but why? Not why is girl. the other girl only want to be? Why is the stipulation that she must have another girl though? So she doesn't get caught up, honey. It's all G. <laughs> they just get stitches. You cannot be with somebody else if you're with me. Fuck that. You should get stitches. I don't think so. You could not have another girlfriend. If that girl wants to be with you only if you're with another girl, she does not. Like you. She wants to oh, okay, okay, okay. She wants to sleep with split, you, yeah. but she wants somebody else to deal with all your crazy drama. So I don't know what's going on with you, but honey, you better right. get uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know is karma's a bitch, because it's like, you know, you're you're trying to say, hey, you can go ahead and mess with someone else. I want you to have someone else. But you never know if the other person might be in love with the other person. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much going I say one relationship, and then I say one freaking relationship. <laughs> Savannah? Just one person. If, if it's an agreement between the two of you guys, I mean like a little threesome thing right. every once in a while, that's different because it's just sex. But a relationship, that's too messy. That's too much. Mm -hmm. Love, you can't share your love. You can't dispense it all over the place like you that. You can't. It's just work. I believe that you can actually be in love with more than one person at a time, but you know, a lot of your attention will most definitely be geared toward one person. And I was in a situation once before where there was a couple that was married and you know they each wanted to have their like side persons. And I, you know, was, you know, I guess you know, <laughs> No, I, I decided not to. And for the, for the reason that it would just hook them up. And you know, sometime yeah. down the line 
They split up. Oh, so yeah, go split so up. So she said, I'm going to split them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, she yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And this little girl the other day, because all my nieces and nephews call me like Auntie Stacy. This little boy called me Uncle Stacy the other day. <laughs> and it, it was cute. And you know, and it kind of makes you feel like a little something. Because yeah, you know, of kids course. are truthful, right? Yes. I mean, yeah, so. so it makes you think, is this what everybody else might be thinking? Right, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. so you know, I'm comfortable, but I still do kind of feel it yeah. every once in a while. Judgment just does not yeah. make you feel good, no matter what it is. Yeah. White, black, judgment, gay, I don't know why judgment makes me feel great, because it makes you feel smaller than I am. Okay. Like it's their own thing that they're Yeah, like, so it's like, oh, that's cute. Let me invite you. Right. I love it when people are completely ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I don't think I have any insecurities with being homosexual just in general. I think it just has to do with my upbringing. Like, there were always gay people around. So I think once you feel accepted by your family, then it's yeah. kind of like, I don't really care about everybody right. else. Real. When I came out to my grandma, she's like, oh, I was waiting. You know, I came out to my mom. She's like, I've been waiting. I'm like, she had made an imaginary girlfriend up to me. I'm like, I'm not dating her. You know? <laughs> so I think once you're comfortable with yourself, and I always have been, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. I feel more judged, more insecurities with, like, gay people. Really? I get called gay all the time. People are always like, Aaron, you're so gay. Aaron, quit doing that gay shit. Really? Aaron, why are you doing that gay shit? <laughs> yeah, this one all the time. <laughs> Nobody knows I was gay, and I was out. I didn't care. I was just me. Yeah. I just love being gay. Yeah. I don't care what gay is. Yeah, no, even when you were talking about, like, yeah. 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 I'm not yeah. yeah. clubs and you're a girl or whatnot. And, you know, I just find that I, I, I'll dress dis differently if I'm going to a straight club, but not differently as in I'll be like a girl. It just means I'll just be more dressed up. Yeah. Like, if I have you on a collar, if I have yourself. on a, no, no, if I have on, like, a, I'll just make sure not to wear the same thing more to a gay club. You know, like I make sure to have on a button well, down. Dress code. There is no dress code. Yeah. Okay, you can't be the village girl. Let them know. So, <laughs> thank you for that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. All right. So speaking, we were talking about levels and being gay. So, what determines if someone is a stud or a femme? Like, I, I don't, I don't. Oh Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is like the whole oh, 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 It is what it is. Okay. Okay. We'll start over here. Yeah. Start over. Um, I think from my experience, I would say it's basically um, about your attire, the way you look physically. Yes. So if you're wearing baggy pants, you know, baggy shirt, or maybe a button down or something, you're automatically labeled with stud. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, you know, super girly, tight pants, you know, triple showing your little boobies and <laughs> you know, with the heels, you're automatically like a femme. And there's not very much in between that. So whatever's in between that, people don't really understand. Savannah? Um, I do agree. They have to identify with something. So it's like, but um, usually I, it's definitely the attire because my personality, I'm more dominant anyway. So I usually am like the stud in the relationship, in the bedroom or whatever. But so I can believe <laughs> Yeah, everybody knows. No, 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 no,
showing any interest, and I would move on. Okay. But that rarely happens, or hardly. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Asia. Um, I mean, if we're having a good time and we're interested in, I mean, a label is just yeah, as a social shit. Yes. It's like just to like clamp you down so you ain't fucking with nobody else. I've dated people for many, many moons. And we really haven't. I, uh, I mean, it's like, are we talking about like friends with benefits? Are we talk? What are we talking about? We're talking about you're dating somebody, and, and you, then you realize that other person doesn't really want to be your girlfriend. How long would you date them for? Well, if they don't want to be my girlfriend, it's a valid reason. We could be friends and still date. Okay, so, so you, you guys date? don't have a time frame. <laughs> what friends date? <laughs> let, me <laughs> friend, let me tell you something. I'm a friend that that we used to date back in the day, and nothing ever developed, and we've been friends till this day. Like a platonic dating, cool. like just going out, having a good time together, getting yeah, and like okay. having sex ever so often, and like well, that's like my ace boom. Okay. I mean, like so it's like uh, you know, this is the idea that people feel like once you get to a certain point, it has to be something. It should be like everything doesn't have to be a conventional relationship. Right. So it's like sometimes people force shit, and then you end up losing a friend that maybe shouldn't ha didn't have to be something more. Mm -hmm. so, so it's like just let it ride. If, if, time, so no time. No. <laughs> but if I'm interested in someone, I make a time frame because I am the aggressor. So, okay, so let's say you are into that person and that person doesn't want to be with you. I've that been in way. that situation so and we become friends. How long would it be? How long would it be? I, so okay. You need to stop dating them. We never dated because they didn't want me. Okay, she, okay, has, so she has no answer. So I do have, have an answer. I'm she, has, she has no time frame. I don't frame. have the lesbian answer. Okay, fine. <laughs> like, so it could be, you could date a Guess friend what? of your Guess what? We're out of time, so I'm going to move on. All right. <laughs> Bye. Like, just, it's sometimes people just need to be happy and just relax. For me, it's about a year. Just because I dated one girl for maybe like nine months before we made it official. Before she was in the case. Yeah. Why does everything have to be a well, official? That's a long time. Some of us like to have people locked down. I don't want you to lock down. And that's, that's it. it. And that's <laughs> it. And that's <laughs> it. You don't even want a nigga. You just want to make sure nobody else got him. Whatever. How you take it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Pause. You should have let him down I saw him. No, we're still rolling. Those two are both over there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank so have you now or ever been a keeper of a hoe bag in your car? Wait, what? Have you now or <laughs> ever? A hoe bag. I'm not telling you. Okay. Let's call it. I was a hoe bag. I know you so many new turbines. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i so, <laughs> I wouldn't call mine a whole bag. Oh, car, nigga. When you put it on that I call it an overnight bag. There you go. Because I'm very okay. practical. If I'm on the streets, I'm hitting everything that I need to do. If I don't make it home, then, you know, I need to just make sure that I'm here. Mm -hmm. It's a whole bag. So, Vana? Yeah. Hey, it's not a whole bag, it's an overnight bag. Because I never home, no, go home with someone <coughs> I haven't met from the party that night. But if you meet somebody that you like, and you guys might be, uh, it's a, like a person, you, a go to person. And you just want to go overnight, you need a little bag, you know, some little panties, So you should just keep the Because if you got a whole bag, then that's the piggy 
piggyback to the U-Haul lesbian. That's like a okay. home okay. bag. Yeah, it's a piggyback. No, a piggyback bag wouldn't be a U-Haul until it made it in the house. Keep it in the whole bag. If you have a good time, you take that whole bag in the house. All right, so moving on. Next question is, we know there's all these stereotypes and things that people think about lesbians. So next question is just because I'm fill in the blank. Just because I'm gay doesn't mean. Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> 